Welcome to State of Tech. Here's an iPhone 6 Plus tip for you. I'm going to show you how to edit photos in the Photos app. The Photos app actually has a pretty powerful editing tool that we can use to edit our photos. So if I were to select a photo, say this one for example of the egg that we were trying to fry on our parking lot yesterday in the hot summer heat, I can actually edit this to make it maybe look a little bit better and stand out. So tap the edit in the top right hand corner when you're in a photo and it brings you into the editing mode. Here I have some controls down at the bottom of the screen. I can crop the photo. So I can either rotate it or I can actually select a crop. So here I have a free crop right now. But tap in the bottom right hand corner and I can actually choose some actual perspectives. So this one I want to do a square crop. We'll just tap square. And notice now that I'm cropping my photo into a square format. And I can move it around. I have the option of rotating it to try and straighten the photo a little bit. So I think that this crop right here works pretty well, but I can also pinch to zoom in and I can use this to go ahead and get the photo in a little bit closer. I think that right there looks pretty good, so we'll just leave it at that. And now I'll tap done. It saves that crop and my photo has been cropped. But if I wanted to keep going, I'll tap edit again and I can add in a filter. Now these are all the filters that you can access from inside the camera when you're taking a photo. So I have some of these basic filters that are built into my phone that I can use if I wanted to. I'll leave it at none for now. The next button is going to be some of my adjustments. I have light, color, and black and white. Tap on the light here. I can change my exposure, highlights, shadows, brightness, contrast, and black point. The color, I can choose my saturation cr contrast. And then black and white, I can turn the photo into black and white. So there are quite a bit of actual editing abilities that I can choose from. I'll choose the light for now. And here I can actually make some adjustments to the photo by sliding on the bottom of the screen. Notice it's kind of brightening up the photo a little bit. That looks pretty good. I can tap over here on this little three line icon and it's showing me what values have been adjusted. Our last little button is that circle with the three dots in the bottom of the screen. This is our app extensions. So these are some third party camera apps that I've downloaded from the app store that I can actually use right inside of photos to apply some basic filters or even do some other editing that those applications allow. If I tap on more, it's going to give me a list of all the apps that I've installed that allow for these photo extensions inside of photos. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on camera plus, and this looks basically like the camera plus app, except I'm not having to import my photo into camera plus. And this can be really useful because they have some more advanced editing tools that I might find in the photos app. Even though the photos app is really powerful by itself, I might prefer using another app. And in this one specifically, there are a few more filters for me to choose from because I have purchased some of these filters from the app store. So now if I were to select on one of these filters, I see the preview of it. And if I tap done, notice that filter has been applied to my photo and now I'll tap done and the whole entire photo is now completed and saved. But maybe I want to take the photo back to its original state. Maybe I'm not happy with this anymore. Tap edit in the top right hand corner and in the bottom right hand corner tap revert. This is going to revert the photo to its original status. Notice it's no longer cropped or filtered or has any sort of enhancements on it. So that is called non-destructive editing. It doesn't actually damage the original file. It just kind of adds all of your modifications on top of it. It takes up a little bit more storage on your device, but I think it's worth the actual benefit because you can always go back to the photo if you would choose to do so. So that is how you edit photos in the Photos app on your iPhone. For more tips, be sure to visit stateoftech.net.